Activist Boniface Mwangi's cryptic post sparks concerns. What really happened? Welcome back to BNN. Today we are diving into the mysterious disappearance of activist Boniface Mwangi, which has left many of us deeply concerned. Just yesterday, Boniface Mwangi shared a message that raised a lot of questions before deactivating his Twitter and Instagram accounts. The post, which touched on the heavy burden of life's challenges, made many of his followers worried about his well-being. His fellow activist, Hanifa, publicly expressed her concern, saying she has been unable to reach Boni or his wife, Jerry, for updates. This all comes just days before the anticipated Nane Nane protests. Adding even more layers to this unfolding story, I'll read her post in, in part, sorry. Boniface Mwangi has deactivated his accounts and we can't get hold of him too, especially after the post he made. I spoke to him, Juzi asked if he was okay and he mentioned how the attacks always get to him and my heart is so broken for him. And then she went ahead to say, this man has always stood up for people, man I feel so bad. For obvious reasons, the message was a bit disturbing, I'll not read and quote him, but he basically spoke on, he was just reflecting on how overwhelming life can sometimes be. It spoke to the weight of expectations and struggles that become too much for one person to carry. Some people out of concern asked Hanifa if she had checked in with Boniface Mwangi's wife, Jerry, to which she said she couldn't reach any of them. Jerry hasn't spoken about it online, she's just doing life, she hasn't posted much or anything about it. Netizens reacted strongly with some expressing deep concern and others speculating about the reasons behind his post. Nominated Senator Karen Nyamu also weighed in. She was just discussing the pressures that can come with paid activism and the toll it can take on individuals. At the end of it all, she was just saying, I hope for the sake of Jerry and the kids that Boniface is okay. Later in the evening, Hanifa reassured everyone that she had spoken to Boni and confirmed he was okay. Despite this update, the initial post has continued to spark conversation across social media, with some telling them Mekwa content creator Sasa and another says, Maneno ya Boniface Mwangi ya chanini nayo, uyo ni tapeli, inaka kuna pesa imekata kwa chiliwa, ndio ana act ya chiliwe. Ikia chiliwa, he'll be okay. Like I said, it's mixed feelings. Another one says, Ebim show. The job isn't done, everyone is crucial, another one says, Uyo anatupi masasa. In times like this, it's crucial to approach sensitive topics with care and empathy. If you or someone you know is struggling, remember that help is always available. Let's keep the conversation respectful as we wait further updates from Boniface Mwangi and his family. Thank you for watching and let's keep the dialogue going in the comments below. Your thoughts and engagement mean a lot to us. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more updates on this developing story. Do subscribe to our Telegram channel for real-time news. The link to Telegram is on the description below and on this video. Catch you next time.